hold on. I'm kind of thrown off here. <laughs> um, did he refer to himself in third person here? Is that what I just read? Austin Theory. So Austin Theory believes that he will be could could be the one to take down Roman Reigns. <clears throat> um, he did a recent interview. I don't know who it was with. Um, <clears throat> but here's the quote in his recent interview. He said, whoever is going to beat Roman Reigns, it's going to be someone that is really going to beat Roman Reigns. And not just some fl uh, not just some luck. And I think the chapter that Austin Theory is headed now is setting him up to being that qualifier to stand toe to toe with Roman Reigns because he said Austin Theory it yeah. kind of threw me off there <laughs> well unless unless uh, somebody else said the quote I, I think this is your quote yeah I couldn't find the source of where this quote came from I just saw this this sound bite if you will okay um, they didn't credit the source so I couldn't tell exactly who who did the quote so I this... thought it was Austin Theory so this could have just been some lady at McDonald's. Right. Okay. But this wrestling source put it on here, so you would assume it's someone credible to wrestling, as in, like, someone who has an opinion on wrestling. i just say, I, I would say this is just a, a drawback to everybody knowing that it's all fake, because a couple of weeks ago he said that he was too chicken shit to, to cash it in on Roman because nobody is ever going to beat him, ever. Certainly not him. So now, right. now because he, he lucked in, into a, a U.S. title reign, now he's prepared for Roman? Well, no. It wasn't even the title reign. It was because he failed his cash-in, and now he's a new Austin Theory. Oh, okay. So it's... All right, whatever. That's dumb. But yeah, <laughs> you're a new Austin Theory, although the this was the new Austin Theory two weeks ago who was talking about Roman Reigns is invincible and no one can touch him right now but now now you're saying you could be the one that's going to beat him like I don't know <laughs> it just further disproves or just further shines a light on how stupid that cash in on the US title was well and it shows that Theory kind of doesn't get it he could at least pretend that he cashed it in you know what I mean Cast it in on Roman? Uh, no, on the. Well, he did. He tried to do it a couple times. He uh, he got stopped by uh, Lesnar and and Tyson. But I don't know. For him to, it, it's like he's treating it like it's a performance instead of like that's Austin Theory. Oh, with with what he was saying. Oh, I think Austin referring to himself in third person, but he's referring to his character and not himself. Right. Well, that and I mean, he just said. Look, on on national TV that he's not he's incapable of beating the current champion. But now that he's not on TV anymore, the the guy playing Austin Theory is like, oh yeah, this is a great opportunity for me to to beat Roman Reigns now. Like he he's not paying any fucking attention to what his character is saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And also the cash in was stupid. It's yeah, not, well, let's not glance over that. No, I agree with you there. Again. It's the first time in history that someone was able to get a that was stupid chant, so <laughs> that that is rarefied ground. I just know it's just I, I prefer when they pretended like it was real. True. 